As the world is moving forward at a fast pace and people are getting connected digitally, meaningful face-to-face -face conversation seems like a lost art. However, whether you want to build a personal relationship or want to connect with people professionally or simply want to enjoy a good chat, mastering the art of conversation with people can be difficult in today's world, but it is rewarding and enriching too. You enjoy a conversation when you are curious, attentive, and have some good ways to keep the conversation going. Your conversation should not be like a rehearsed script, but rather when you converse with someone, there should be spontaneity and real interest in it. When these two things are included in your conversation, that conversation will become memorable for you. You don't need to follow a strict formula to talk with someone. You need to know how to balance speaking and listening. You need to be aware of sharing and understanding. Sometimes you just need to know how to make the other person laugh. When you stay updated on current events and you genuinely care about the other person's thoughts, and when you are observant, any conversation becomes meaningful. You might be finding all this tricky and difficult, but it is not so at all. It's easier than it seems. If you adopt some strategies and practices, then you will develop a skill within yourself Skills to keep any conversation going, whether you're talking to your partner or catching up with an old friend, these tips will help you handle different conversations with confidence and ease. So let's dive into the world of engaging conversations and discover how you can keep the dialogue interesting, vibrant, and ever-flowing when talking to men. Ready to become a conversational maestro? Let's get started. Number one, build a conversation toolkit. A good conversation is like a toolkit. Just like we need tools to do any work, you need tools to keep a conversation going. Asking open-ended questions is one of the most important tools. When you ask a person these questions, they are encouraged to think things through, and your conversation starts to get longer. Don't ask, did you have a good day? In this, you'll only get a yes or no answer. Instead, you can ask, what's something special that happened to you today? In this way, you open the door for an open and more engaging conversation. Another important tool is follow-up questions. What happens in this is that when your partner mentions something interesting, do not move on from that topic quickly. You ask him questions about it to show that you're interested. For example, if he mentions a recent party, you can ask him how much fun he had at the party or with whom you spent more time. This not only keeps the conversation going, but also shows that you're genuinely interested in his thoughts and experiences. Another tool you should have in your toolkit is sharing your own stories and experiences. When you share your side of a story during a conversation, the conversation becomes balanced and flows, and you connect better with one another. With these conversation tools, open-ended questions, follow-ups, active listening, and sharing stories, you'll have everything you need to keep the dialogue vibrant and engaging. Number two, stay informed. To keep a conversation going, you should have things to discuss. When you stay updated about what is happening in the world and you know what people are interested in, it becomes easier for you to keep the conversation going and find common ground. Now, there are many ways to stay updated. One way is to follow current events. When you know what's happening in the world and what's happening in your local area, you have many topics to discuss. You can talk about politics or sports, you can discuss something or a social issue. For example, you can ask your partner, do you know what incident happened recently in our locality? Or do you think who will win in the upcoming elections? With such questions, your conversation will remain continuous and you'll not be troubled for words. Apart from this, you can stay updated about pop culture. When you feel that the conversation is about to end, then you can keep the conversation going by mentioning a movie or series. You can ask them which is their favorite movie, and you can discuss their favorite movie. In short, staying informed about current events and pop culture gives you a wide range of topics to talk about. It helps you have interesting and meaningful conversations with ease. Number three, reflect and relate. Another important thing to keep a conversation running and engaging is to reflect on what the other person is saying and relate it to your own experiences. This keeps the conversation balanced and the conversation feels genuine and personal. An important part of this is to share your experiences in response to what the other person is talking about. For example, if someone mentions a recent trip to a new country, 
You can relate to them by talking about similar experiences you've had in the past. When you do this, the conversation is no longer one-sided and a mutual understanding is formed, which makes the conversation interesting and long. For example, if they mention that they watched a movie recently, you can share with them that you've also watched it and you can ask them what you liked about that movie. In addition to sharing your own stories with the other person, you can also reflect on what they've said by asking meaningful questions that encourage them to open up more openly. For example, if someone mentions that they're currently working on a challenging project, you could ask, what's been the most rewarding part of working on that project so far? This not only shows that you're actively listening, but also invites them to dive deeper into the topic, making the conversation more meaningful. Number four, use technology. Technology can also be used as a tool to keep conversations going and engaging. For example, if you're ever in a conversation with someone and you're planning a trip in the future, and if you feel that your conversation has started to end, then you can immediately take out your phone from your pocket and show them some places that are perfect for trips, like hotels, see their reviews, and discuss expenses. What happens with this is that the conversation keeps going and also becomes interactive. When you explore something together, you also find common interests. Another use in conversation is by sharing media. When you're at home and you watch a funny reel or read an informative article or a post, then you share it with your partner. After that, when you catch up later that day and you feel that there are not enough topics to discuss, you can ask them, did you see that video or article that I sent you? In this way, you'll open a conversation. If you've shared an article related to society, then you'll get to see your partner's point of view, due to which you'll adopt a more engaging and understanding tone, and your conversation will become long and interesting. Number five, be observant. Another important tool is to remain observant. When you are having a conversation with someone, notice the details of that person or their surroundings where you are having the conversation. These details will give you easy ways to start or extend the conversation. First, notice the details of the other person, such as their clothing or their accessories. If you notice something interesting, you can mention it. For example, if they have a cool bracelet or watch, you can mention where they bought this watch or bracelet. These small compliments or questions show that you're paying true attention and can lead to a very friendly conversation. Apart from this, you should also pay attention to the place where you are. What can you talk about in a cafe? For example, if you're in a cafe, you can mention that it has a good vibe. Would you like to come here again, or how do you find this cafe's food? Talking about your surroundings creates a shared topic and helps keep the conversation relaxed and easy. If you are attentive to it, you can make the conversation natural and engaging. In conclusion, mastering the art of conversation doesn't have to be difficult. By staying informed, being observant, using technology wisely, and reflecting on shared experiences, you can easily keep the dialogue flowing. These simple techniques can help you connect more deeply with others and make every conversation enjoyable and meaningful. With a little practice, you'll feel confident and prepared for any interaction, ensuring you never run out of words.